Hello traders, welcome to Allies Blue. This is Deepa and Gogoi. And in this video, I will discuss about crude oil. So now we can see this is a crude oil chart and this is a daily chart, right? So I think you remember in my previous video, I told that the crude oil, uh, this is a candlestick pattern, are uh, they are forming here? And for the sell, I told that you just place your sell order just below this supporting line, or you can say like that, uh, this below this candle, right? The price was around 3832, uh, right? I think you remember that. One. So next you can see, and here I have given another resistance line and at that day, right? And that 3890, if the price break this level, so you can go for buy and target will be somewhere around the 3944, right? So let's check in a four hour chart. We have seen in a four hour chart, so why I given this line around 3890, I think, right? So, and in a four hour time frame, we have seen here is a hammer candlestick pattern, right? So I told you to place your sell order just below 3832, uh, and this is called no trading zone. So this area around 3230 to 3890. And our buy order was just above this candlestick pattern, right? So let me show you. <coughs> now you can see this was just a little more above this candlestick pattern. So I told just place your buy order here and the target will be somewhere here around 3940, uh, right? In a small time frame, let, uh, let me show you. Uh, so now you can see this is a 15 minute time frame and uh, that day, the price was here so we have seen that was i told uh, like here just below you just start selling below this level and start buying above this uh, resistance line so you can see we never seen any sell signal in this area and the price suddenly broke this area and that was our buy and yesterday so now we can see our target was here somewhere so i place here but uh, for a little more go uh, gone up a little more above so after that again price just pushed down right so now you can see the price what is the market behavior so let's check it now you can see according to the price action method here was price like that creating lower low and the lower like uh, sorry lower high and after that they create lower low so now you can see the price broke this previous lower high and create a new high here right we have seen a new high so now price, are, uh, price is creating a new lower high, but they are stop creating, uh, the price stop creating the lower low. Now they're trying to create the lower, uh, sorry, higher low. Have you seen? This is creating higher high and creating higher low. Now, now question is that, is it time to create a higher high? Uh, answer is no. I'm not interested. Uh, I'm not interested to go for buy direction like here right from this area. So why I'll tell you So if you want to see in a four hour time frame, we have seen uh, According to the price action method here uh, This was you can see According to the price action method in a four hour uh, They're creating a lower low and a lower high right? when they are creating in a large time frame like four hour creating a, a lower low so i'm not interested to go for buy direction right so even you can see here we have seen so after breaking this 200 uh, moving average price just push up toward so here you can see push up toward this uh, supporting line right uh, sorry resistance line and now you can see that the again price is just bouncing toward downside right from this area so we are expecting price will fell from this area. So where is our entry point now? So now let's check in a small time frame, like uh, 15 minutes for our entry and exit. So we have seen uh, this type of pattern are forming, but I'm not interested to enter in this zone, right? Most of the people are thinking here, almost thousand point are there, sorry, uh, 100 point are there. Why I'm not greedy that much, right? I always trade within a range, range breakout like that right so i'm not confirming this market in which direction market will go so that is why i just wait to break this level or else 
they must break this level so then i'm interested to go for five right some people are saying hey this is uh, like uh, uh they're creating higher high higher low have you seen this is creating higher high higher low and it's a high probability to go from this area so start buying from this area i'm not interested because in a large time frame uh, like four hour trend is down and creating lower low lower high so that is why i don't want to go for buy in this area right if i want to go for buy so definitely they must break this previous higher point you can see this is around of 4000 right or in a large time frame it is a downturn so that is why they must break this level around 332 three, once they break so definitely i'll go for sell but in between this range i'm not greedy i don't want to take every point right so that is why that is my trading strategy i'll go for buy above and i'll go for sell below right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching